it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for October 2024. So on October 17th, we have our second major energy shift taking place. Of course, the first one being the full moon in Aries. A couple hours later, we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, moving out of the Scorpio energy, moving into Sagittarius energy. So anytime that we kind of have any kind of planet or luminary moving out of the Scorpio energy to Sag energy, there's like this light at the end of the tunnel, Sagittarius energy definitely kind of holding the torch in order for us to get out of the dark tunnel, which just happens to be Scorpio energy. But we learned a lot in Scorpio energy. We learned where it is that again, we had to boss up, really feel empowered within ourselves to figure out where we've had a change of heart, where it is that now we have new wants, new needs, new desires, and equally where it is that there's still some fear, some doubts, some insecurities preventing us from actually going after what it is that we want. Of course, the Scorpio energy was a fixed water sign. There was a lot of emotion stirring within us, really activating that particular heart space. Now in the Sag energy, we are feeling a lot more liberated, a lot more free. We're standing in a new truth about ourselves, about who and what it is that we actually want in our lives. And with the Sag energy, we are more open to experiment, more open to explore. So the Scorpio energy had us very intensely obsessed with a particular person, topic, theme, outcome. In Sag energy, we kind of take those particular blinders off. We just open ourselves up. Again, Sag energy ruled over by Jupiter magnifies the element of growth, shows us where it is that where we can dream better, we can actually create better. And so because Venus very focused on love and relationships, we're moving out of this intensity to this light fluffy vibe where we just kind of want to let our hair down, have a little bit more fun. Of course, fire energy, there's still going to be some intensity to it, but it's much more playful, if you will. Now we're less focused again, kind of taking those blinders off, kind of getting rid of that obsession that, you know, honing in on needing a specific outcome. And we're just more relaxed. We're more just open to kind of taking things as they come, seeing where it goes. So this is definitely going to be a major shift, especially coming out of the eclipse energies that technically speaking, we're still under the influence of the new moon solar eclipse in Libra energy that of course Venus was in her rulership over. We're still under that influence, but you know, with the full moon and Aries just popping off and Venus being at that 29th critical crisis degree and sextiling Pluto, the great transformer at the 29th degree of Capricorn energy. Again, now because of the major shift that has taken place within us, now we're able to kind of see where in our physical realms those changes need to now take place outside of us. So things could get fun. Things could get flirty. We are a lot more straightforward, pretty blunt to kind of express ourselves in the Sag energy, which of course is a good thing because we're willing to take a little bit more of a risk in expressing ourselves. But we have to be careful because sometimes that straightforward bluntness can definitely backfire upon us as well. We're looking for a greeter grander truth, a greater, grander mission, a greater, grander purpose, if you will, not only in our own individual lives, but in the greater, grander scheme of things as well. And so again, we kind of move out of this tunnel vision and we just are now taking in all kinds of stimulus from the outside world. We are adventure seeking. So again, putting ourselves in situations that we might have not put ourselves in, in the months previous to this, but we are definitely looking to kind of be a little bit more free, a little bit more liberated, kind of go with the flow, if you will, and just kind of dance around, see what kind of calls us in, what we're resonating with, and of course, creating a lot of time, distance, and space from the things that, again, we're trying to put behind us. So, you know, Venus is all about values, and she's all about money as well. We can be a little bit, I'm going to say, too free with our spending, maybe even borderline reckless with our money matters under this particular influence. However, where Jupiter is the ruler of Sag energy and Jupiter does bring good luck and good fortune, we may actually see that, you know, not sitting in that scarcity mindset, being a little bit more free with our spending, again, kind of brings the good things back to us threefold. 
And so we have to just kind of balance the scales. Again, we're still in labor season. We have to find a little bit of peace, harmony, and balance within ourselves. It has been a very intense transit through the Scorpio energy, and we are definitely going to be feeling a little bit more fun, a little bit more flirty, a little bit more fancy free.